Hello folks, uh, Jim Hannon back here with uh, an update on the Accurite instrument. Um, this is uh, the 20 foot pole that I was telling you about that was such a pain in the neck to drop. Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. Uh, as you can see, this is the brand new instrument that I just put up this weekend uh, due to the temperature problems I was having with the old one. This is a brand new unit which is working perfectly and I can show you part of my problem is I live in a retirement community and if we come down off of that unit my signal has to come down and go through three walls within that building and I'm over on the other side and that's why sometimes I had uh, issues with signal strength. But uh, this new unit I've uh, done nothing with the antenna and it's been up for two going on three days now. and. Um, the signal strength has been perfect and it hasn't dropped at all. So uh, that's one good thing. It looks like it's got a much stronger signal. And now I'll walk around and I'll show you that edit feature, which uh, I, it's a lifesaver for me. Um, let's come down the pole. And this is what I have to, I used to have to undo. Uh, you can see the clamps up here clamp up there, clamp here, uh, there's a hose clamp I used here, and that attached the pole, of course, to the fence, but then that had to be all undone, and the pole had to be dropped down carefully to rest on a chair to change out the batteries, but here is the neat new thing from Accurite. You can see that wire leading up the pole, and that goes all the way up to the center up on top and there's a plug that goes into the battery compartment and you run that down the wire there's the wire right I get close enough you can see it here you can see the wire right here that's the wire that comes down from the unit I've got it wrapped around here and then I come down I've got the rest of the wire tucked in here and here is the box this is the box with the battery compartment and inside there are my four lithium batteries. And now instead of coming out here and having to go through all that trouble of drop, in the, dropping a pole every, I used to do in November just before winter so I had nice new batteries in it. Um, and going through all that change and then putting it back up and realigning it with north and all that garbage. Um, we just take this cover off, pull the old batteries out, put them back in, done and that pole will not have to be dropped unless I run into an issue with it. Um, and all the time I had the old one, which was about, I think, three and a half years, um, I, 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 when I would drop it, I, will, I would always check it, especially the rain gauge cup. And, and never did I even have so much as a leaf or a twig or anything in the rain catch, uh, being so high off the ground at the end, near and near an open lot you can see around here that's the back of our Terryville Congregational Church um, church is right there but you can see otherwise it's pretty much open um, those trees are pretty much lower than the uh, unit and we come around so I could do I do get some wind blockage uh, there from the facility and then there's some higher trees back in here but they're they're a good 100 150 feet or farther away so that unit is, is pretty much pretty much out in the